Good evening, everyone. What my theory lacks in data, I will make up for in terms of the breadth with which it explains all of our different behaviors. So judges, please keep that in mind. <laughs> Have you ever wondered why your hand is shaped like a turkey? It's a very odd thing for us to have evolved. And when you look at the family tree of the other primates, you'll notice that our hands really are quite different. But let's just look at our nearest relatives for comparison. So you'll notice that our fingers are relatively short and tubby, and we have a fairly wide surface area in our palm. And then our thumbs also seem to be a little odd. So notice that you can actually touch every single one of your fingers with your thumb. This means we have opposable thumbs. Now, there are a lot of people who suggest that opposable thumbs are made for tool use and various other purposes, but there's also a lot of animals out there that have opposable toes, including members of the gorilla family. We, however, do not have opposable toes, and neither do cats, by the way. <laughs> so why do we have a hand shaped like a turkey and opposable thumbs, but not toes? Well, in the previous theories that have been put forward, there's been the suggestion that we have evolved this handshake in order to have a precision grip so that we can throw missiles, and so that we can have the right power to use clubs. And while I might concede that for entertainment purposes of various sports balls events, uh, these two adaptations might be useful, they're certainly not the reason why we evolved the hands the way that we did. Finally, there are people who suggest that, in fact, we evolved hands because they make a really good fist. They're for punching. But this doesn't really make any sense either, because our legs are much stronger than our arms. And so why wouldn't we have evolved foot-punching mechanisms and, and that way you know, have our opposable toes as well? So these theories come up very short when it comes to explaining why our hands evolved the way they did. Let me propose an alternative. And this is that our hands evolved the way they did because they are optimized for the handshake. Now, you might think that the handshake is a peaceful greeting, that it's one that serves to signal agreement. And that's where you would be dead wrong. The handshake is one of the most notorious weapons that we have. Uh-huh, it's true, and I'll just show you how. It turns out that on our hands, we have an average of 158 microbes that colonize them. Now, this ranges anywhere from 40 or so to 401. Now, women, in general, have more microbes on their hands than men. And men, of course, we know are the aggressors in our species. But the type of microbes that are found in the hands of men are very telling. First off, there's the pre propriony bacteria, which cause disfiguring acne. So that, of course, allows the men who can withstand the handshake the ability to have much more beautiful and handsome faces. <laughs> Notice, too, that staph infections, which are, can be, of course, deadly even to healthy individuals, are more populous on the male hands than the female hands. And finally, Corine bacterium, which, when paired with the bacteriophage, can cause deadly diphtheria, are also colonized more heavily on the male hands. Now you get to the point where you see how my theory explains so much of our behavior. For example, men are grosser than women. But their <laughs> hands, yeah, they have poor responses to hygiene. They're not so concerned about washing their hands. We have to constantly remind them to wash their hands. Uh, and so this is, of course, because they are colonizing their hands with the right bacteria. You'll notice, too, that the handshake is a very efficient way of transferring bacteria. So compared to the high five and the fist bump, uh, the handshake is a much more effective way of transferring bacteria. In fact, it's so effective that it's been banned from the healthcare setting. <laughs> now, if you watch two chimpanzees try to shake hands, there's really not a lot of transfer of germs. If you look at a human shaking hands with a chimpanzee, you'll notice that we get a little bit of finger action, but they get a lot of palm. And the palm really is where most of these bacteria are colonized. And so this theory now explains through the, the interspecies, sorry, interspecies germ transfer why we have colonized the world and the chimpanzees have remained local. <laughs> then it also 
explains a lot of other behaviors that we have to colonize our hands. For example, infants right from birth th suck their thumbs. Now really all they are doing is colonizing the bacteria on their hands so that they can cull their rivals in the daycare setting. <laughs> We've even evolved all kinds of to tools in order to wean them off this thumb sucking. And in fact, ourselves, we, when we are left to our own devices, we also enjoy sucking on things that look like or feel like our thumbs. We also put our fingers up our noses, again, to colonize the hand. And you might think that we do this in secret as we get older because we think it's rude or gross. But it turns out we just don't want the other people to know that we're colonizing our hand bacteria <laughs> as we use it. That's right, for future handshakes. OK. Finally, you'll notice that our pinky finger has been shaped optimally to fit within our ear canal. And let me tell you, nothing feels better than sticking your pinky in your ear. Am I right? It feels pretty good. But when somebody else sticks their finger in your ear, it's very, very annoying. So the, the reason that our hands have evolved the way they had is in order to colonize our palm. So you might then ask the question, well, why don't we have long tentacle-like fingers and a very large palm size, catch your mid-sized palms? Well, it turns out that there is an evolutionary equilibrium that has been established by Mother Nature. You see, the longer our index finger relative to our ring finger, the shorter our stretched penile length. So our fingers can't get any bigger because then our penises would get much smaller. <laughs> Thank you.